On the morning of June 11th, China's Navy's aircraft carrier, Fujian, returned to the Jiangnan shipyard after completing its second sea trial, which lasted for over 20 days. In just two months, the Fujian aircraft carrier has undergone two sea trials, totaling more than 30 days, demonstrating the reliability of China's first domestically produced large aircraft carrier. Although specific details of the trials have not been disclosed, it is speculated that the second sea trial mainly tested the ship's power system. Currently, the Fujian has not yet installed arresting gear and other aviation facilities, and the carrier-based aircraft tests are expected to wait. During the second sea trial, the Fujian conducted evasive maneuvers, zigzag turns and reversing in the Yellow Sea area, showing good maneuverability. This indicates that the content of the Fujian SC trial was richer than the first time, and the trial process was more leisurely. The second sea trial of the Fujian aircraft carrier is a phased achievement of the construction and sea trial of China's Navy aircraft carrier. Although the second sea trial did not involve carrier-based aircraft takeoff and landing, the choice of the sea trial location in the Northern Yellow Sea may be related to the location of the carrier-based aircraft training base, providing convenience for the crew to become familiar with the hydrological and meteorological conditions and prepare for subsequent carrier-based aircraft operations in the same area. The follow-up sea trial work of the Fujian aircraft carrier will continue, and it is expected to include more subjects such as carrier-based aircraft takeoff and landing. China's Navy's aircraft carrier cause is progressing steadily. Let us look forward to the perfect cooperation between the Fujian aircraft carrier and the new generation of carrier-based aircraft, showing the majestic posture of China's Navy.